Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be my empties from July. I have a huge a uh, lot in front of me in my little basket that I keep everything in and I'm so excited to show you guys because I went through a lot of stuff last month. So let's go ahead and get on into it. So I'm gonna start off with the wax empties of the month. The first thing I have is a actually like wax melt empty and this is in vanilla from the Luminescence brand. It's actually just from Dollar Tree. I actually really enjoyed this. It's very light, but I used this in my office at work and I kind of want a light scent for work because I don't want people to be like, oh, you know, what is that smell? Where is that coming from? So it was just like a nice, simple vanilla scent that I had going at work. Really simple. Would definitely consider getting it again because it's literally a dollar. But that's the only wax empty that I have. And then I have some candles. So first thing I finished is actually the last single wick that I own. And that is in Tis the Season. And I was just kind of using this up in the bathroom. Um, there's no notes on the bottom, but I'm pretty sure it's like apple spice and yeah, it was fine in the uh, bathroom. I enjoyed it and used it all the way up. I do have some wax on the sides, um, but it went all the way down to the bottom. So pretty good scent. I already actually have it in a three wick that I purchased at semi-annual sale for 75% off. So we'll be using it again, probably in the winter time next year. So really good one. Next, I have three three wicks that I finished. So the first one is Iced Blueberry Biscotti, and this is from this past spring. The scent notes are sugared blueberries, sweet vanilla icing, almond biscotti, and brown sugar. This was a really good scent. Uh, pretty much like a medium strong thrower, and it went all the way down to the bottom. This reminds me so much of blueberry pie, but not quite. It's a little more tart, but it was so good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Kind of sad to see it go. And I really hope they bring back blueberry pie again this fall, but it doesn't seem like it. So this was like a good taste of that without having it. So the next one that I have is lemon cake pop also from the same line. And the scent notes on this are frosted citrus glaze, a vanilla cake pop and sugar crystals. This was really good too. Kind of more of a light medium thrower. It wasn't very strong, but I really enjoyed it. It definitely smelled like uh, like lemon squares to me. Really good, went all the way down to the bottom, no sitting. This was a really good burner, so no complaints here. And the last one that I have is Sugared Snickerdoodle. I was not obsessed with this scent. The scent notes are warm spices, creamy vanilla, sugared musk. This really is very caramely to me. So it was a good scent. It's from um, last winter, but I probably won't get it again. It wasn't like anything crazy amazing that I like have to have, um, but it was like a nice, simple, sweet scent, but almost a little too cloying. So that's the last of all the um, wax stuff. Let's get into body care. I finished off a body lotion in Bonfire Bash. This is from last year's packaging. The scent notes are vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, cashmere musk. I loved this so much. It smells amazing. I honestly kind of want to pick it up again in the body lotion for like because it just came out again this year i think it's in the faceted collection and oh gosh it smells so good it just smells like marshmallows basically it was amazing just like a nice simple sweet scent but it lasted and i put this on usually at night time and it just smelled amazing so definitely recommend this one um, to pick it up this year and I think I will be picking it up this year again in a body lotion. I don't know that I need it in every other scent, but in a body lotion, it was just so comforting and warm and sweet, and I really liked it. Um, I also finished off a shower gel in Pink Velvet Cupcake. You guys know I love Pink Velvet Cupcake. Definitely going to pick it up again this year. The scent notes are sparkling red berries, whipped pink marshmallow, and sugar praline. I think Pink Velvet Cupcake is more of like a spring scent to me, although it comes out in the fall. It is so sugary sweet. Mm, I love it. It's like berries and sugar. That's basically what it is. Um, and it's so yummy. So this was really, really good too. Um, I finished off Sunset Glow in the shower gel. I just wanted to pick this up. I think I picked it up at SAS um, just to try it, even though they just retired it. I hadn't tried it yet. The scent notes are fresh coconut, sparkling cherry seltzer, dreamy moonflower, and caramelized vanilla. Really good scent. I liked it a lot. I think I brought this on vacation with me. And yeah, it was a good scent. I enjoyed it. 
nothing crazy amazing but still really good and then I did finish off three pocket backs. So we have Be a Good Human Simple Citrus. My mom actually finished this one. Um, Champagne Toast, which my mom also finished. And Stay Magical Unicorn Pet Petals, which my mom also finished. So I didn't finish any of these, actually. My mom did. Um, and then I have a hand lotion or hand cream in Snowy Peach Berry. This is from um, Christmas of last year, but I actually really enjoyed it in the summertime because it's basically just peach. It was just like smelled like peach. So really, really like this. Um, definitely think it's more of like a summery or like a spring scent than it was Christmas, um, but still really good. And the last body care item that I have is actually the Jergens Natural Glow Wet Skin Moisturizer. I get it in medium to deep. Um, I really love this stuff. You put it on when you're still wet out of the shower and it's just like really moisturizing and also helps keep your tan. So I bring this out mainly in like the fall and winter months when I'm not outside a lot. And so I just like want to keep up my tan. Really, really like this stuff. I've already repurchased it. Okay, now I have a few hair care items. So I finished off the BioKeratin hair mask and um, I think I got this from TJ Maxx. It wasn't anything special. Oh. Literally, yeah, TJ Maxx, $7.99. It wasn't anything special, but I do think it worked. I use a hair mask about once a week. I use it every other time I shower, so I'll do shampoo and conditioner, and then the next time I wash my hair, I'll do a scalp scrub and a hair mask. So I used this up pretty quickly, maybe two or three months. Um, so I didn't mind it. It wasn't amazing. I don't know, it was fine. Um, and then I also have the girls with curls curl defining cream i really like this brand they sell it at tj maxx this was 5.99 i think i've already repurchased this yeah i already repurchased this and i really love it it's actually like a clear gel more than a cream and i actually really love the way it smells too so this one was really nice and then the last hair thing that i have is the joico k-pack color therapy luster lock it's a shine and protectant spray. This was actually really good as like a glossing spray kind of on like my curled hair, like a few days in, I would put this on and it just made my hair look really shiny and healthy. So really like this, would probably consider getting something like this in the future or just going with like an oil, but I have a ton of hair oils right now. So I just need to get through those first before I think about purchasing anything else. Um, and then the last section of stuff that I have is some skincare actually i do have one makeup item this is the ciate london wonderland liner so i used it up all the way to the very end i really can't sharpen it anymore it's just a black liner but it had this brush on the end so i really loved it i enjoyed using it like every day for work and then just like winging out the line with the little brush tip at the end i thought this was really smart to have like the brush on the end with the pencil loved it i think i got in an ipsy box like five years ago um but finally finished that up. So now we're gonna get into the skincare. The first thing I have is a mini. It's the Paula's Choice Exfoliate 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. I have heard many good things about this, but honestly it did nothing for my skin. I have like some texture going on here and um, I thought it would help, but it honestly did nothing. So I'm not gonna purchase it because it is pretty expensive. So I'm glad I tried it out because it really didn't do anything for my skin type. I have another toner. This is the e.l.f. Supertone um, Brightening Fruit Acid Toner. Um, this is very strong smelling. It's literally like lemon pledge or like lemon. It's so strong. It is a, I think it's an AHA and BHA toner. This also did not much for my skin, but it was kind of cheap. So like, I don't really care that it didn't do much. I still enjoyed it and I still think it got my skin clean. So to me, it was like, it was okay. Probably not going to repurchase it though. And then I finished off this Revlon Kiss Balm in Juicy Peach. This is SPF 20, I just realized. But um, they sell these like in packs at TJ Maxx is where I got it. So I still have like three more of these in different colors, but finished this one off. Didn't really like it, probably wouldn't recommend it, but I just had it, so I finished it. And then I also finished off a Clear Proof. Um, I, I can't even open it, but I cut it open to get the last bit out. This is a charcoal mask. Um, it's supposed to be good for acne prone skin. I love this stuff um, and I already have a second one actually so I just cut it open to get the last bit of the good stuff out. And the last thing that I finished this month is the I'm Aloe sheet mask from Tony Moly. I have like a 10 pack of these that I also got from TJ Maxx and I really love it. 
I honestly don't think sheet masks do that much for my skin, but it just feels so good and refreshing to have it on and to just feel like you're doing something good for your skin. I'm not sure that it does much, but I will say if I'm having like a bad acne day and everything's kind of like irritated and it hurts, um, putting on these definitely helps with the inflammation. So I think it does help with that, but I don't really notice too much of a difference in my skin using those. But that's everything for this month. I went a little fast today. Um, let me know if you guys thought that was quick. I don't know. I feel like I'm not going to have to cut this video down a lot. That's kind of crazy. Usually I talk too much, but you did good today, Victoria. You did good. But that's everything for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I finished off a lot of candles this month and a lot of body care and I'm really proud of myself so that way I can start purchasing for fall. Well, I already have actually, if you haven't seen it, I've already done a fall haul of some Bath & Body Works stuff. I'll link it up above. But um, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.